now for arms shortage. Before I uh, started doing this recording session, I was thinking about uh, stealing that tank from Phil's place during this mission. But then, the mod gave me the best present ever. Hold on. Oh! So in order to uh, move like this in the air, you use the uh, numpad on your keyboard. I get it. Very fucking cool. <laughs> it's kind of like a camera hack in a way. Oh, Buzzkill. I was having fun there as well, mod. Lock and load. I'm more than locked and loaded. I've got even more firepower than you do, Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> Alright. Where the hell are they? What causes them to spawn, by the way? Ah, okay. Did they get affected by alien ray? <laughs> they did as well. <laughs> Where the hell is that going? Hi. At least it didn't land on my head. Ow, fuck. Alright, hold on. Oi! I'm still alive, but he's not, thank god. Horror, horror. Mission complete. By the way, I've always, I've always wanted to know, how do you pronounce uh, the voice actor? The voice actor for Phil's surname in this game. Is it Hunter Platin or Hunter Platin? So he also voiced uh, Chico in this game, as well as the Psycho in Vice City, and uh, Ran Fa Lee in San Andreas, when he also voiced Pigsy in Manhunt. Oh! Is everything okay in there? Oh, it's my car. It's fine. I was gonna say I thought it was my tank inside my garage, but how can that be? It's closed. Vehicles that are in your garage don't come into memory until the door opens. That's fine. And I can't be arsed shoving that wrecked car into my garage. Probably a lot quicker just getting one off the street. Now, I know it's possible to complete Evidence Dash in one go. Ouch. By ramming the truck with a tank. But to give myself a challenge, I'm not going to do that in this playthrough. Unless it becomes uh, frustratingly hard as a result of getting a shitload of unlucky effects. But first, pain spray. Pizzy and sprizzy. Excuse me.
And don't bother using a rocket launcher to take out the bobcat. Because if you destroy it that way, another one takes its place. Just like the uh, ambulance during Plaster Blaster. Oh, fuck off with your shitty fucking steer bias already. No one likes you. Right, cheetah, I want my cut. Where is it? Up your ass, buddy. Right, by the time I get to the truck, steer bias will be over, thank god. Oh dear. Six star wanted level, aka tank dodging simulator. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what happens when you try to do uh, over exaggerated impressions of Claude. Try a more accurate impression next time. Tell you what. I'll give you a more accurate impression of Claude right here, right now. Yep, here we go. Three, two, one. Accurate enough for you? Of course, this effect lasts until the credits are over. It's a shame this game isn't a Valve game, because from what I remember, the credits in those games are dead short. When this is evidence dash, not rumble. Oh, wait. I still think it's daft that you have to uh, collect a piece of evidence before you can make the truck drop another piece of evidence. Because I think that's the case. And don't let the truck end up in the drink. To be honest with you, I think that's where I'm heading. Yes, I was indeed holding down the uh, exit vehicle button. <laughs> Come on, they're not bubble cars. Give me the Banshee. Banshee, I want. Nope, my muscles are always on the move. Right, where's that truck? Well, I know where it is, but what's up with it? Oh. Snail's pace, is it? Suits me. Hey! Cool. Oh, it's locked, you bastard. And... Wow. That's interesting. You learn something new every day. And today, folks, we just learned that if the driver of the Bobcat during Evidence Dash gets out, a different bobcat spawns. Yeah, as if you'd destroyed the first bobcat. Wow. Holy fuck. You better be recording that, okay, Fraps? Right, I'm getting close to water. I don't want to be here. 
with chaos mod on. That's fine, keep it that way. Come on, bus off, coach. My friends call me coach. Pick it up. I wonder if I could see it properly. Come on, try hard mode. Try a bit harder to piss off. As in piss off, not piss me off. Oh. One more, and then wreck the car, and we're done. I might as well just drive back to my hideout. There to save anyway. Oh, suits me. Lovely jobly. Just checking to see how long I've been recording for. I think I'll do one more mission, then I'll come off gone fishing. Oh, if you don't mind. Now, depending what the mod throws at me once I get in the boat, I may or may not speed up the video. Well, at least, uh, unlike forced aim, forced shoot doesn't prevent you from getting in a vehicle. Hoping this effect doesn't affect boats, only road vehicles. Otherwise, Claude will have to get instant swimming lessons. Strolling along, singing a song. Alternatively, jump. Good. By the way, I'm pretty sure I saw a speedrun of this mission in which uh, the player provoked Ray's partner by shooting his boat from miles away with a sniper rifle. I can't remember what else he did though. Oh good, one bullet mags doesn't affect the Predator's machine guns. Only the weapons in your arsenal. You're what, Null? Now, I would quite like to uh, try and use a rocket launcher to destroy Ray's ghost. But I'm worried that it might hit my own boat. Ugh. 
Remember, there's always firefighter. Fuck, I just used the police boats machine guns. It's easy. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Let's beach this boat. Literally. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Let's grab the pony. Run through the fence. Because I've got no idea where I'm going with this horrible effect on. Oh, come off it. Yes, I'll be coming off this game very shortly. I come off when I decide when to come off. First I'll grab some health, and while I'm in Portland, I'll save in red light. Or try to, anyway. Alright. Cop car, are you going to be unlocked for once in your life? No. Welcome to Quake 3 Arena. Hey! If it's not one thing, it's the other, honestly. Anyway, folks, that wraps up this recording session. Hope you enjoyed. I sure did. Thanks for watching. Stay solid and don't let chaos mod bite. What else? Until next time, take care and good night, everybody. In the next recording session, I'll do Plaster Blaster for Ray and then Kenji's missions and then Donald's missions. Au revoir. Okay, folks, we have uh, another extra recording session because uh, part six was far too short. So I'm going to quickly head back over to... Staunton and I'll either do Grand Theft Auto for Kenji or what's it called? Plaster Blaster for Ray Machowski. Um to be honest wrong way <laughs> I might end up doing Plaster Blaster because that mission is uh Fairly short and simple. Well, with a tank, that is. I can't see the fucking traffic. Oh, God. Holy shit. I'm just picking myself up off the floor. I'm driving a cop car and it didn't flip over. Yeah, as I was saying, Plaster Blaster is uh, pretty short and simple if you use... A tank. And I'm talking specifically about the uh, part of the mission in which you have to kill the witness when he's out of the ambulance. I've made a backup, by the way. So there's three ways to kill the witness. One, use explosions. Two, use a vehicle. Or three, drown him. And the heavier your vehicle is, the more damage the witness's cast will take. And because uh, the tank is, as far as I know, the heaviest vehicle in the game, you can kill him in one go with a tank. Oh, come on, you useless bastard blue marker. Yep.
Ray knows exactly what I'm talking about. I won't be using the tank to destroy the ambulance, because if you do that, another one takes its place. Excuse me, I need a BRB. I have to go throw up. Don't worry too much about getting a wanted level before you get to the ambulance because you get a wanted level anyway. Yeah, once the driver spots you, he'll take off. And, oh shit, no! Oh, that was top of the pops, that was. Except not really. So it seems that uh, reloading your save causes some effects to restart. Yeah. And unfortunately for me, no control is one of them. Mm-hmm. Bastarding hell. Is that Infernus driver pissed off? Not sure. All I know is he was almost driving up my fucking arse. And I also know that I almost flipped my tank over again. But at a much earlier stage. Aha! Jokes on you, Chaos Mod. I had no mission in progress in the first place. Impeccable timing, your majesty. So, the real question is, if you can't use a tank to destroy the ambulance, what's the best thing to do to make the ambulance stop? I know. <laughs> tank you, but no tank you. Yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll just, just shoot it with a weapon that fires bullets. I think the AK-47 might be the best weapon for the job. Or the M16, that works too. Uh-oh. Oh. I can only assume that my tank got launched into the air because of alien ray. Hello? The only uh, heavy vehicle engine I can hear is that of the line runner. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming back. You so kind. Right, come on. It was a decoy. Let's get moving. It's decoy. Back to Chinatown. I tell you what, just get alongside the ambulance and do a drive-by, if you can. Not easy with traffic. There we go. That's it. He's bailed out. Smash his body cast. He's over there. Okay. I wasn't driving fast enough, that's why he didn't die. Let's penetrate that cast and head back to my safe house. Hmm. For some reason my strategy's not working so well now. Alternatively just get out and use a rocket launcher. Alright, then I will. Nice. I can't use a fucking weapon until Pacifist is over. Well, that's put a haggis in the works. And if I kill someone, mission failed. My tank's fucked off. Come on, hurry up and end, please. Right. 
There. Not too. Oh god. That took way too long. Don't worry about the tank. You can get another one. You can either A. Wait for Chaos Mod to give you a tank or give you six stars. Or complete a few more story missions to unlock Shoreside and then you can get six stars on your own. Anyway, Grand Theft Auto. Oh. Yes, watch it indeed, limo driver. Net crackage. This mission is quite long. We have three cars to steal and take to the garage in Newport. I am not looking forward to this at all, as you can probably imagine. And yes, you read that correctly, the cars have to be in mint condition. In other words, no damage whatsoever. Nope. Not even a little smidgen of a dent or a scratch. Are you quite finished? Right. I don't really want to know what happens if uh, you fall from a height when on foot during helix snake mode. Do not want to know what happens. Right. You're against the clock as well. Get a move on. Don't worry about damage too much because the pain spray is right next to the garage that you have to take the cars to. That's fine. If it was uh, something like uh, no gravity, I would be shitting myself. Hey, you out there, I think you'll find this is not Silverstone. Right, quickly. That's fine. I very nearly drove the... Excuse me? Okay, hold on. What will happen if I get another target car and open the garage door? When the car is inside the garage. As far as I know, I didn't damage the car again. Let's see what happens when I get in the cheetah. <clears throat> Did that have something to do with the... Oh, the two times gravity effect? Quite possibly. Right, come on. Flip over again. Come on down. Please don't flip again. Stay like that, please. Please. I think I'm in the clear. Okay. Still got one more car to get though. <clears throat> Two and a half minutes. Now, go. Right. 
What's the story with that garage? Hmm? Why did it not accept the first car? No idea, but I'm going to find out why. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. Right. Right, hold on a minute. That's better. Hashtag weird ass shit. I see nothing weird about shit. Everybody shits. Speaking of shit, I am now shit out of luck. See, I told you, long missions in Chaos Mod are bitter rivals. Back to the shit topic. Don't worry, I promise you, I do not have a shit fetish. I'm not like that. Whoa! <laughs> it's almost as though that uh, flash of lightning has got stuck. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me, Galileo. Yeah, yeah, we all know how the song goes. It's one of the best songs ever written, if not the best. So you think you can stone me and spit in my eye eyes? So you think you can fuck me over by making me commit suicide? I don't even know if I will need another tank. I'm sure I'll manage without one. We shall see, we shall see. I mean, considering what happened during Plaster Blaster, you know, with the Rhino and what have you, I might not even need one. Yeah. Basically, as you saw, my Rhino strategy didn't quite go according to plan. Thanks very much for nothing. Not today, army. I wonder if maybe what happened during the previous attempt was uh, maybe I uh, walked out of the garage too early. Who knows? Oh, GTA 3, how do you do this shit? Oh! Oh, Chaos Mod, how do you do this shit? <laughs> Once again, when I reload my save, an effect starts again. And gravity field does not appear to be an exception. And if Kenji gives you shit for wrecking those cars, just blame Chaos Mod. It's always Chaos Mod's fault. I hope to Christ this effect doesn't affect part cars, including scripted ones. You probably know where I'm coming from. <clears throat> oh. 
So it seems that um, in order to stop a car door from swinging over after you get out of your car, just be careful uh, how you move when you're on foot. Uh, <laughs> well, if it's one of the three target cars, I am going to be most upset. Fuck you, lamppost or street shite. Please, thank God. Well, it could be the other two. Yep, it could be one of the other two. You never know. I'm praying it's not one of the other two cars. I'm on my fucking knees here, begging. Okay, I'm not sure why I went this way. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why this effect? You have no idea how much I hate this effect. Thank God it's over. Then again, it's probably only because I went, yeah, inside the pain spray. <sighs> I bet it's not going to be fucking worth it because I've got a horrible feeling one of those other cars is booby trapped. That effect lasts way too long, as in no car gravity. I wouldn't be surprised if Grand Theft Auto ends up being the mission of the entire fucking playthrough. Will you shift your motherfucking arses out of the motherfucking road, you motherfucking motherfuckers? Squeak, squeak, fucking squeak. Ah. Someone mentioned that um, when you have the lock mouse effect, you can still move the camera using the, uh, the number pad on your keyboard. I'll remember that. Thank you very much. So is this what it's like to uh, either A, be on drugs, or B, have a heart attack? Do you know what's really weird? In uh, San Andreas, when your fat stat is maxed out, the game warns you that you have a risk of a heart attack. But that doesn't actually happen. You can just keep uh, eating and eating, and nothing bad happens apart from uh, vomiting. Oh hell. Right, the only way to slow down is by uh, easing off the accelerator. Right, 
what I'll do is spin the yeah, spin the car around and push it with Claude, because everybody knows that Claude has Hulk strength. Just wait for it to end already. Like now. Right, get in there. Get in quickly, you head dick. Please have as much fun in this place as I had driving you here. Not this again. Right, I'm in the garage. Right. Thank you. Next. Blister. Next car is outside the stadium. Ugh, come on, Claude, enough mucking about. Just get over the bloody wall already. Jeez, how long does uh, the Quake Pro effect last? Not complaining, just making an observation. Okay, that's a wee bit better. I activate the uh, closer third person view camera. Don't need it anymore though, because it's over. Right, I reckon I'm going to get at least uh, two more effects. Well, actually, three more effects before I'm able to save. Yeah. Hell, maybe even four at this rate. Please, nothing nasty. Please. Come on. That's fine. Glad I didn't have uh, less than ten health. Pew. That's enough, guys. <sighs> At least it wasn't Ignite Player. Stop. At least uh, bullet damage doesn't seem to affect the cars during this mission. Just uh, crashes and scrapes and whatnot. Right. Get it right up, you chaos mod. Goodbye, Grand Theft, also, as in the mission. I don't ever want to see you again during this playthrough. Now it's finally time to save. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, stay solid, and I think we all know what you shouldn't let bite you. Worst sentence ever. Until next time, take care and good night. In the next recording session I'll continue with the missions for Kenji, and then move on to the ones for Donald Love. See you then.